southern Chinese city of Shenzhen. Nearly a quarter million people work at this factory. The average age runs from 18 to 25 years old. 99% of them are migrant workers who have traveled across China to earn money to send back home. Outside the iPad production line, a supervisor gives her workers their daily assembly line assignments. The first part of the assembly line is this floor, where workers assemble the iPad's motherboard. Foxconn recently introduced machines to do part of the work on this line. Here, a machine attaches a tiny buckle to the motherboard. If anything goes wrong with this particular iPad, Apple uses this buckle to trace the machine back to this line on this date. Later on in the assembly line, the motherboard and other components are installed inside the iPad housing. Each step in the line adds a new component, and some steps take just seconds to complete. Like this step, where a machine is used to press the iPad battery into the housing. Workers usually rotate their jobs every few days. Workers on this line start out making around $14 a day. After a couple of years, their salary doubles. After workers install the LED touchscreen display, the iPad is nearly completed. But first, the iPad takes a ride on a machine that tests its gyroscope, which is used when playing video games. A few more screen tests, and the iPad is boxed up and sent to addresses throughout the developed world. The work is tedious and boring, but each day hundreds of people line up outside the factory to apply for jobs here. On this day, 500 applicants, many of them tired from traveling days from their home village, arrive with the hopes of working here. The supply is continuous. One reason is that, compared to other Chinese factories, Foxconn is considered by workers to be one of the best. The company has invested millions into amenities like athletic fields for its workers, and unlike many factories in China, it pays its workers on time. Still, more workers these days are leaving Shenzhen to return home to work. Foxconn has picked up on this trend. It's located its newest factories in China's interior to be closer to where much of China's labor